Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Enterraria modded playthrough. As you can see, it's actually just become daytime. There might be stars, but the sky is actually getting brighter, which is always nice to see. The nightmare has finally gone, and apparently, we've got weekend XP, twice the experience for everyone. Interesting, interesting. Now, in the last episode, we went mining quite a bunch, and we got a bunch of stuff that I would like to start doing stuff with and such. So, let's get our stuff out. So, we've got iron. We have a bunch of silver, some platinum, we've got some bars as well, which is always nice. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Some platinum bars? Oh my god, we've got so much stuff. Oh man, this is sweet as hell. Right. Now, can I make a furnace, yes or no? I should be able to, uh, yes. Nice, okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. We managed to make one. Right, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to start expanding... Our village, we need to try and get the guy to spawn back in because he is pretty damn useful in terms of telling us what to do and how to do things. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make some more NPC houses. Hopefully, he is able to spawn back in. Here we go. We're all over the village making grind. Oh, yeah. Right, now you may notice in my voice it's not quite there, and that's because I'm literally recording this as soon as I wake up. Which is kind of stupid because I had a 13 hour sleep and I was supposed to wake up reasonably early so I could get this recorded for you guys today. So I'm just like, ah oh, man, the morning's all gone already, god damn it. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to lie, I feel pretty damn refreshed for having that long sleep. Right, here we go. Oh yeah. Right, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's try to figure this out. So that's four blocks, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's nine on the inside, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Sweet! So that should just about do it. I'm pretty sure it's the same size. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's, let's check, shall we? Okay, so let's go in here. Let's grab some blocks out. Uh, let's just use these for the time being. I want to measure this out. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff, good stuff. I just wanted to make sure, guys. I just wanted to make sure, because otherwise my OCD would have gone mad. And, you know, stuff. <laughs> uh, bounty hunt requests resetted. Wait, what? There's bounty hunting quests? That sounds awesome. Hey, you, what, what have you got for me in terms of a quest? Merchant class quest. Okay, interesting. Found gold coins. Wait. Wait, what? I am confused. Let's just have a look, shall we? Let's have a look at the quest. Merchant class. Uh, I must be greed. What? Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't make any grammatical sense, but oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Right, let me just go ahead and do something. I have found the position. Found gold coin. Okay. You! Come over here! Apparently I've done something and I don't even know what it was. Did, did I, did I, what? Okay, so I completed the quest, but I didn't get anything for it. Aw, oh, man. Man, do I feel ripped off. God damn it. <laughs> well, that sucks. God damn it. How dare you, man? How dare you not give me anything for blooming completing that quest? It was an epic quest. It took me a blooming long time. And all you can afford to give me is nothing. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell? Huh? Did you guys see that? I'm pretty sure I accidentally duplicated my door somehow. I don't even know how that happened, but oh well. Right, okay. So, a chair. And this time we're going to have a table. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's carry on with this thing, my friends. So, boom. And boom. Sweet. Right, and now we need some background walls. That shouldn't be too hard, right? There we go, 39. Uh, we'll grab some more as well, of course. Okay, here we go. Um, whoa! Holy crap, that was quick. <laughs> Where did that come from? Right. right, and auto place is on. And here we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. We now have enough space to have another NPC live in our house. Or houses and such. Shall we make another one just in case? I think we should. Okay, let's go down there. Let's do make another one. Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
nine, door. Okay, cool. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Right, okay, so one more. Oh, we don't need to make doors because apparently. God damn it. What the hell? That's weird. There's normally like a pause between when you make the first item and then when you make the next load of items, but for some reason that's not the case anymore. That's kind of weird. Right. Okay. Once again, place the background walls in. Oh man, I love the auto place feature in 1.2.4. It's such a cool thing to have. It just is. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh look, the nurse is coming. Hello, Mr. Nurse. Even though you're a miss. Hello. What's your name? Lorraine. Quit wasting my time. Alright, that's right. I've got full health. Doi. Okay, well that's, that's okay I guess. Let's go ahead and grab some more chests. Place them down. There we go. We can put both of them there. Nice! Right. Can I make an anvil? That would be nice. There we go. Anvil. You can go in the next room. Thank you very much. Okay, and we also need to place down the furnace somewhere. God damn it. I really didn't think about this, did I? Uh, where should we put the furnace? Where should we put the furnace? I have no idea. Maybe if we get... God damn it. Maybe if we get rid of this, and if we place down a bit of wood again, we could have a furnace in here. But then this wouldn't technically be counted as a house anymore. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is kind of weird, isn't it? God damn it. Right. Uh, where did my torch thing go? Can't go without a torch now, can we? God damn it. Right. Um, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? I don't know. We need... Oh, that's solid. You know... Do you know what? We're just going to put it outside. That was kind of a voice crack because, you know, like I said, I've only just woken up pretty much. There we go. All the bars. Thank you. Good lord. We've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> good, good. Right, what can we make? Oh my good lord. Yo, we can make a gun. Holy crap. Okay. Stone bow. We can make stone tools. How the hell? I didn't even know I could do that. A frying pan? <laughs> Alright. Frying pan, platinum bow, platinum broadsword. Yes. Savage. Okay, it's a good one as well. So, that does 29. That does 41 though. So, that's still better. Right, we can also make some armor. Good, good. Let's make some armor, shall we? Armor is always good. Uh, shall we make an axe as well? Hmm, probably. Uh, can we make any other armor at all? We can make some iron armor. There we go. Anything else? Uh, not by the looks of it. Platinum sword. Should we have a platinum bow as well? There we go. Let's do that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. My old weapons are becoming defunct. They have no use anymore. We can make a fishing pole. I guess we can do that. If we want to go fishing at some point, which is something I don't do very often. What the hell is this? What? A magic stick. 15 magic damage. Should we make one? Whoa! Yo! What the hell is this? <laughs> that looks awesome, man. That's funny as hell. Okay. That's that's pretty nice. I'm okay with that. And as I was saying before, let's make ourselves an axe. It's a stone axe. Heavy stone axe. Ah, oh, damn it. Minus speed. God damn. That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. I'm alright with this. Right, do we have any cobweb? Yes or no? Cobwebs, cobwebs, cobwebs. 67. Uh, how many? Oh, we haven't got any iron bars left. Crap! We need that. We need iron bars to make a sawmill and then a loom and then make a bed. That would be useful, of course. Uh, right, okay. Let's go ahead and do some things. We're up to eight defense, of course, which is really nice indeed. That's not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to find the cave from before. Grab some... No, it's going to be lead, isn't it? We haven't got iron. What have we got iron? I can't remember. I've got so many Terraria worlds, I don't even know what kind of walls I've got. God damn it. That's a pain in the ass. Right, okay. Here we go. Let's go down. Right, we need to try and get into the uh, the combat side of things, don't we? So we can get some levels and therefore increase our health and such. Okay, let's go down. All the way down. Luckily, the wings completely negate all four damage, which is fantastic. I love that. I love it very much. Right. Hmm, skeleton statue. I am going to take that, because, I mean, you know, we, we could make some sort of trap and maybe a farm. You know, that'd be a pretty cool thing to do, right? Right. 
Now, I do know that I should be doing quests, but I've still got to make them bare necessities, if you get what I mean. Right, uh, iron. Where you at? That's, that's, that is iron, actually. Yes, fantastic. Auto mine, just because. Yeah, buddy. This should be enough, right? Why do I keep getting rid of the torch? I am stupid beyond belief. Interesting, interesting. Right, but anyways, I do hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. There has been an insane amount of support, and I really do appreciate it, guys, of course. So, I mean, if you do want to keep... Sorry, if you do want to keep seeing more of the series, be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to let me know by uh, leaving a thumbs up. Things like that, you know. You know the old drill. Right. I oh, didn't bring my magic mirror out. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm still a dumbass. The ascent is real. Hi Up we go. Oh man. <laughs> I keep forgetting demon wings are pretty damn terrible. But they're better than no wings. I'll give them that, which is pretty nice. You know, being able to fly as soon as you spawn in your world. What could be better than that? Oh man. And uh, one other thing I actually forgot to mention is the fact that my character level is actually just below my little character face in the bottom right hand corner. So thank you guys for pointing that out. The thing I was looking at before is in fact the world level. The world level I'm pretty sure affects uh, the uh, the sort of intensity of the mobs that can spawn. So you could have like a regular zombie spawn and it'll have like 400 health or something ridiculous if the world was at a high level. So yeah, just thought I'd clarify that for you guys. <laughs> thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate it. All right. So here we go. We are going to make... Uh, we need some chains, don't we? Okay. Chains? There we go. Chains. Nice. Okay, can we make a sawmill? Sawmill? What do we do over here? Sawmill! Yay! Sweet! Nice! You go there! Give me loom! Where is the loom? I'm going to take this thing and, and place it here. And I'm going to make five bits of silk. There we go. And now I can make a bed, right? I think I need to do that with sawmill. Bed? Question mark? Ah, there you go. Hey, sweet. We haven't got much wood left, though. Hmm. Should we make the, uh... We can make, like, a basement room if we really wanted to. If we get rid of this... Oh, the nurse is going to fall down. Oh, she didn't. Oh, my God. The nurse is actually fairly intelligent. I like you, nurse. You're actually intelligent. I like you very much. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, good. I'm okay with this. Right. So, the outskirts of this room down here are going to be made out of uh, stone. Actually, I don't need to... Yeah, actually, we're pretty much good now. Let's just fill this in. There we go. All the stones. Okay, and we need to knock out the background wall. So, once again, using the auto mine feature, which... <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's probably one of the best additions to Terraria, like, ever. It's really damn cool, let's be honest. Alright, there we go. And apparently I knocked one out from up here. Did I? I don't know. I don't know. Right, so stone walls would be pretty nice around here. Stone walls, stone walls, sweet. Oh, well, apparently I made them all into walls. Great, good job, good job, Python. You're very, very good. There we go. And let's fill this in. Oh, yeah. And this is going to be our little basement bedroom. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good. Alright, so you go there, you go there. And I put this here. And spawn point set. Hey, we got ourselves a bed at long last. So we actually spawn in our bed every time we die. Hey, <laughs> even though we kind of spawn like literally just outside, probably beside this cross right here. Yeah, Pfft, it doesn't matter too much. It's pretty convenient nonetheless. But yeah, as you can see, we're doing pretty damn well. So what is the thing that I wanted to do? I wanted to get some quests. Let's do that. Hello. Quest. Uh, kill 35 monsters in the cavern. What did I just do? Merchant level up? Okay, quest. Uh, kill 20... Oh, find 25 glowing mushrooms. T kill 10 monsters at the mushroom land. Um, okay. I can do that. I, I just need to go underground, right? Then I can sort of kill... I can kill two birds with one stone. I could get both of the quests done, right? Alright, let's go down and let's do this thing. Bounty hunt requests resetted. I don't know why that keeps coming up. Is there... Does anybody know what that means? Like, who gives the bounty quests? I have no idea, to be honest with you. So, again, if you've got any ideas, be sure to leave your responses in the comments area below. But here we go. Into the the cabins. 
I'm pretty sure this is just the cave layer. The cavern layer, I'm pretty sure, has like a grey background. Alright. Here we go. Grab all the mushrooms. Mushroom grass seeds. Interesting, interesting. We need 25 of these things. Hmm. Interesting. I don't feel like we're going to find all of the mushrooms right here. Because, you know, this is a rather peculiar mushroom biome. In the way that there's not really that many spaces for the things to grow. <laughs> Holy... Yo! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! That literally made my poop myself. Jesus Christ. Well, apparently bunnies count as uh, monsters in the cavern there. So, look at this. <laughs> Bonnies actually count. That's pretty funny, actually. God damn it. Yo, what the hell, man? I could have died from that, but I didn't. My health is regening. In fact, let's use our abilities, which for some reason keep getting... Whoa. Whoa, look at this. That's awesome. So where's my health thing? So where's my health? Uh, toss coin? Toss a coin at the enemy to deal damage. Uh, discount, overcharge, all my loots. Increases the chance of getting double loot. Ooh. Look at all this stuff, though. I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. My my thing is gone. Oh, look at this. I can, I can do two demon types. That's pretty awesome. But for some reason, my health perk has disappeared. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, look at this. We found another one. We found another one. Yeah! Can I actually get down here, please? Thank you very much. Yes! Oh, we are totally getting this quest done right now. Sweet! Right. Oh, man. Why is there so many bunnies down here? Die! Idiots. <laughs> I can't believe they count as blooming underground monsters. Uh, life crystal. Boom. Good lord. That game was like 50 more health. That's ridiculous. Right, so we need... A few more glowing mushrooms. This shouldn't be too hard, right? And if we go down here, there we go. We'll chop this down. How many is that going to give us? One. Really? I need one? That's ridiculous. We need... Oh, we found all the glowing mushrooms. Nice. Okay. Now we need to kill six more monsters here. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay. So five more to go. We need five more enemies down here. Come on. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Hello. Make that four. Oh my god. We need four more. Then we've got at least one of the quests done. We'll probably leave the next one for the next episode. Even though I think I recall saying that the... Uh... Oh, good lord. Ooh. Oh yeah. That was a lot of monsters. Good stuff. I am farming these like a pro. You. You're going to die as well, little bunny. I'm sorry. It's how it works. <laughs> we only need two more, which is always good. Come on, man. I want to complete this quest and end the episode, my friend. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There's a lot of farming in this mod. That's one thing I've come to realize. A lot of farming. I mean, I'm not I'm not complaining about it, but there's just a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. World leveled up to 11. Ooh. Interesting. Right, okay. Nothing else too interesting. There is a bunny down there. Which will bring us down to... Actually, no, that will bring us down to zero. Yes! Okay. And I forgot to bring down my blooming magic mirror again. GG's, Python. You are such an idiot. God damn it. Uh, okay, just follow the map. Follow the map. Oh, well, I kind of lost that torch. Good job, buddy. Good job. Right, okay, guys. I'm going to quickly make my way to the surface. And I'm going to meet you guys there. Alrighty, guys. Here we are back at the house. And I'm pretty sure the merchant was the one. Yep, it was. Nice. This is not much, but I hope these coins will do as a nice reward. Why, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Nice. Right, okay. So, we've done a pretty good job today. And just, just to make sure we don't blooming miss it again. Magic mirror. There you are, you little bugger. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, we've done a pretty good job today. What the hell is this? A mushroom lamp. I'm pretty sure that's from default to our... Alright, pretty cool. Now, what do we got here? Add a chance of making the monsters drop coins on death and when hit. Oh, so that's basically like having a lucky coin. Nice. Locates hidden treasures. So that's kind of like having a Spelunker potion. Nice. Boom. 
Uh, can I put this on as well? No? Okay. Can I put this on? Is there anything else I can actually put on? All my loots. I uh, can't put that on yet. Can I put this on? I can. But it means I lose coins. Damage. 168%. Yeah, uh, I guess. So should, should we should we go and try this thing very quickly? Uh, oh monsters, monsters, where you at, you sons of? Come on, man, where you at, you son of a gun? Hey, come on, we back. Demon slimes, eat them. Like for real, where are these dudes? There's like no hostile mobs. Hello. Hi! Anyone? F2? Ooh! Hey, look at this crap! We it is basically a Spelunker potion! Nice! Okay, I'm guessing the little cooldown meter is how long it lasts for. So what does F3 do? Toss coins. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, I didn't actually see that. D does it visually actually chuck the coin? Hold on. Let me have a look, let me have a look. E. Oh, it does! <laughs> Oh, that's sweet, man. I love this mod. There's so many cool things about it, but I know at some point later in the series, things are going to get a bit hairy. So, uh, you know, we've got to prepare for that. We've got to upgrade to the max. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and, of course, you want to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos. All right, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And also, thank you for 40,000 subscribers, my friends. That's a crazy milestone. <laughs> It really is crazy and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Look at all the XP I'm getting from these fireflies. You don't need to exist. I know I can use them as bait, but for now, pff, nah. Just farm them for XP, my friends. Anyways, thank you very much for watching once again. And I will see you guys in the next episode.